one advantage to collecting photographs is the fact that it's a reproducible medium. And so some photographers return to the same negative over a number of years and made different printings at different times of their life. So you might have a negative that was made in 1920 that was printed in 1920 and that's referred to as a vintage print. You could find that same negative that was reprinted by the photographer in the 1950s or 60s and that's called something that was printed later. And if that photographer is still living and still making prints, those are referred to as modern prints. And the good thing for collectors of all sorts is that the most famous photographers tended to have very long careers of printing their own work. And the prices go down the more recent the print is. So a vintage print would invariably be the most expensive. If that's out of your budget, but you actually love that picture, it might be something that photographer printed 30 years later. And then it's gonna be about half the price of the vintage one. And also, if they're making modern prints or if the photographer has died and their estate are making posthumous prints, the prices keep going down and down. And the beauty of it, if it is the image that is what's attracting you, you can make a collection with not that much money that comprises some of the most famous photographs in the history of photography.